In order to simplify this expression, we are first going to express each of the trig functions in terms of sine and cosine. So for cotangent of x, we are going to substitute in the cosine of x over the sine of x. And for the tangent of x, we're going to substitute in the sine of x over the cosine of x. Now in both our numerator and our denominator, we have two terms that we're trying to add, a one and a fraction. But we can't do that because if you're trying to add something with a fraction, you need to have another fraction with the same denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert the one in the numerator to equal sine of x over sine of x. We're not changing the value, but we're giving it the same denominator as the other term in the numerator. In our denominator of our large fraction, we're going to change that one into the cosine of x over the cosine of x. It's still equal in value to one, but now that fraction has the same denominator as the other fraction, so we can add them together. So now if we combine the fraction in the numerator by adding, we'll have the sine of x plus the cosine of x all over the sine of x. And now if we combine the fractions in our denominator by addition, we'll end up with the cosine of x plus the sine of x all divided by the cosine of x. From here, all we need to do is remember that dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we can rewrite this as the sine of x plus the cosine of x over the sine of x times the reciprocal of the part of the expression we were dividing by. So cosine of x over cosine of x plus sine of x. Now we can multiply these two fractions. We multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators, and we'll have the sine of x plus the cosine of x, that whole quantity, multiplied by the cosine of x, over the sine of x multiplied by the quantity cosine of x plus the sine of x. And those two quantities in parentheses are actually equal to each other, so they'll divide out, which will leave us with the cosine of x over the sine of x, which we can simplify down to our final answer, the cotangent of x.